Good evening, this is Brass Tax. I'm Zaka Jacob. There were dramatic scenes today at Haridwar as the wrestling champions, Olympian Sakshi Malik, Vinesh Fogat and Bajrang Punya decided to drown their medals in the Holy Ganga. There have been daggers drawn with the WFI president, Bridgebushan Sharan, against whom at least seven wrestlers, including one minor, have accused him of sexual harassment. But eventually, after sitting at the Harki Podi for over an hour, Farmer leader Naresh Tiket reasoned out with the wrestlers and took away their medals. Later speaking to the media, he said the government has been given a five-day deadline to act against Bridgebush and Sharan. On the other side, the WFI president is absolutely confident that he's innocent and that this entire thing is a political drama that's been enacted against him by the wrestlers. At whose behest, he has refused to reveal up until now. So the big question we're asking is, who is then playing politics in this big fight between the wrestlers who are the nation's pride and it's an utter shame that it has to come down to this them threatening to drown their medals in the Ganga and a WFI chief who is digging his heels in without stepping down or fear of arrest. सरकार के द्वारा और विशेष रूप से प्रधानमंत्री जी के द्वारा जो समय समय पर महिला सशक्तिकरण की बात करते हैं उनको सम्मान देने की बात करते हैं कि इनसे वार्ता करते इनकी समस्याओं का समाधान करते प्लीज सैडेंट दैट आवर कंट्री हैज रीच्ड अ पोजीशन where wrestlers who have given their lives, their blood, their sweat to do well for India and for themselves have won medals. And today you are forcing them to go and throw their medals into the river. All right, we've not seen scenes like this uh, any time in the recent past. Uh, Olympic medal winning champions threatening to drown their medals in the Ganga. Eventually, it took a farmer leader to negotiate with them, to reason out with them, and he too has set a five-day deadline for the government. Joining me now, uh, Ayaz Memon, senior sports commentator. Dr. Sunita Godara is a former marathon champion. Imtiaz Aniz is a former Olympian. And uh, K. Srinivasrao is group sports editor with Network 18. Uh, Ayaz, let me start with you first. The government's contention is that you know, various levels of investigation, whether it is the Oversight Committee, the IOA team, the Delhi Police, of course, which has filed FIRs, uh, there are various layers of investigation that have been ordered uh, to look into Bridgebush and Sharan. You can't force the investigators or you can't force an investigation. It will go through its due course. In that meantime, for the wrestlers to, you know, go to Haridwar and, and threaten that they were going to drown their medals, uh, the government is saying... Uh, that's not reasonable. Yeah, but I think, Zaka, one needs to look at why things have reached such a story stage. You know, Why have they reached this stage? I think the issue is, you know, it could have so easily been handled about two months back or three months back. Uh, you know, it was a federation issue. It could have been resolved at that level. Yes, it didn't remain there. It spilled over into something bigger. The IOA should have stepped in a little more, more aggressively, more purposefully. And then, of course, there was a sports ministry also which got involved. And, you know, this oversight committee, first of all, I don't like the term oversight committee. What oversight means something else. So, you know, there was a committee to inquire. I think what should have been the focus or the thrust, there is a grievance. We will have a fair inquiry into what the grievance is. And the grievance, you know, is, is not just about insubordination. It became something larger and bigger. It became about sexual harassment. And that's where I think the government, the IOA, the sports ministry should have got a little more you know, taking it a little more seriously and aggressively to resolve the issue. I think that's where, and not not doing that, I think created a kind of a mistrust in these athletes that, 
कुछ काम नहीं हो हमारी बात कोई नहीं सुन रहा है kind of okay. डॉक्टर सुनीता गुदारा यू नो आई थिंक आयाज इज अंट वी हैव सीन इंस्टेंसेज इन द पास्ट वेर प्लेयर्स हैड प्रॉब्लम इंडिविजुअल प्लेयर्स हैड प्रॉब्लम विद देर रिस्पेक्टिव फेडरेशन इट कुड बी ओवर पे इट कुड बी ओवर प्लेइंग कंडीशन इट कुड बी फॉर अ होल होस्ट ऑफ रीजन but the fact that these were very grave charges these these were sexual harassment charges uh seven wrestlers have made those charges there are two firs one of those wrestlers happens to be a minor and in poxo the law of the land is that if a a minor is leveling sexual allegations then arrest is almost immediate it is almost automatic the onus is on the accused person to prove his innocence despite that for the government not yeah, the to weigh in yeah not to weigh in as seriously and as heavily as it should have done and also what the wrestlers are asking is that you know who yeah, is true. who is brijbushan sharan i mean where does he draw his power from he's not a minister or you know uh, a cabinet minister or he's an mp okay that's fine but he's also accused of very grave charges and you know what whatever is happening with these uh, uh, stalwarts these uh, olympic medalists and all Uh, this is you know uh, what happens last night was uh, it proves that 99% we are now banana banana republic only 1% are enjoying the uh, power and 0.9% uh, out of that following their uh, rule uh, whatever orders they are giving and uh, with the medal winners with the awardees padam shri all these have come to this uh, status you know like every day day and night they were harassed so the oversight committee was out of sight they cheated them where is now that oversight committee uh, you you make committee only for 5 days or only for one month after that what are they doing then secondly the police mishandle them every day every day mishandle them i i went there for two days and i saw you know it was like a kila bana diya tha jail and uh, government or say sports ministry just ignoring them they are at janta mantra they they need your support they need sports ministry support they need ioa support they need government support at least some assurance but nothing was done otherwise first day when they said you know if sports ministry wanted they always say we cannot do anything with the federation because they are autonomous body very wrong they can do everything if they have ethics commission like nada nobody can challenge wada nobody can challenge same way if they have ethics commission okay in place they have on paper in 2012 they made a committee with 11 uh, retired judges but where is that committee what are they doing either they those judges they don't know uh, and i have got that uh, committee uh, you know i i okay. got out this and the names are all retired judges are there in the committee this is ethics commission uh, of ioa but uh, not working so if they don't have the girls don't have any redressal place where they can go and complain where so do they, they go to and who court. do they turn Supreme to supreme court okay. uh, did something so and after let me that, ask, what happened nothing yeah, let me ask uh, shrinivas rao you know the government's contention and you must have seen this as well uh, by way of government sources saying that you know they have no right to drown their medals in the river because uh, the government spent and they've given out some detailed break up of how much money has been spent on the training of these individual athletes and the government's contention is that it's not just sakshi malik's medal or it's not just bajrang punia's medal uh the whole nation uh has uh, you know rights to that medal because the government and the taxpayers money has gone into training these athletes uh do you buy that does that seem like a coherent uh, defense the money angle makes it a bit ugly zakai it's like you know me i have invested in this robot i have invested in the science behind this robot i have paid for the battery so i will make sure that the robot continues to be active it's like that the narrative doesn't seem right you know rather than that the important thing here to note is had those medals gone into the ganga we would have been left with nothing else but those painful images that would have stayed with us and that would have spelled out a very wrong picture uh, not just in the narrative and in the context of what is happening right now from a political standpoint or whatever but from a pure sporting standpoint see there are many takeaways from here from this entire episode there are political takeaways there are absolutely strict sporting takeaways and uh, there are there is a cultural and a emotional takeaway for example not just because it's a olympic or a asia or an asian medal winner 
who is the talking point here when a woman says that my modesty has been outraged when a woman says that i have been harassed percentages do not matter the point that she has said that her modesty has been outraged is good enough yeah for the country and for everybody all of us to sit and take it seriously i think that is the bottom line and um, I, i don't think uh, you know the money spent on these players i, I think that 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 has a very ugly connotation so imtiaz imti- anis uh, uh, one of the contentions again by the government is you know it's it's all becoming political that there is a section uh of people who want to control the wrestling federations who are opposed to brijbhushan uh there are some names of some haryana politicians some corporates as well uh who are being alluded to uh, as being the forces behind uh these women wrestlers again does that make any sort of cut any ice those arguments because well there may be politics but let's investigate these allegations because of the grave nature of the allegations uh See, not just be uh, not just be uh, confined in the in the politics of it unfortunately you know i've been involved in sport all my life and politics is a part of it whether you like it or not it's always been in there but it can be this case could have been easily avoided if it was just addressed all these people wanted to be was heard and everything should be put on priority these are our, you know not only that they are medal winners but they are speaking for the nation these are like our freedom fighters anything has to be put on hold you cannot put them in a normal case right in situations like this you if you if we address the case for 35 days if they were you know waiting for just to be heard and nobody heard them then these sort of drastic measures are taken it's not that these drastic measures should have been taken or whether that the drastic measures are right or wrong it's a, it's what's driven them to those drastic measures and the main point out here is you know these political situations are in every federation and every sport actually speaking all over the world but address the situation then you you never have this problem uh um, i as memon you know coming back to you know where it started it it started off with these wrestlers coming out and saying that uh there were women wrestlers in the junior camps in the senior camps who were uh, who had who, who were facing grave sexual harassment at the hands of uh, this man the wfi chief now i believe two instances w- happened abroad i think one in turkey one in japan i think that's the the uh, the uh, accusation made by one of the wrestlers and it turns out and again we are being told by way of delhi police sources and government sources that on those two international instances that have been quoted this man was not present there uh, he had not traveled to those countries so how could the uh, sexual harassment have happened uh while while those are details while those are nitty gritties what action may suffice for the wrestlers to say okay at least we have hope now that uh, the investigation will proceed in a free and fair manner see uh, zaka just from the outside what i feel is that the the wrestlers first i think when it started it was about why are the camp being held in a certain place and you know only in this place and not in other places why do we have to travel from there to here and so on and so forth it seemed at that point in time an internecine federation problem which could have easily been licked at that level should have been licked at that level it blew up into something bigger and then the charges started growing you know and that and you know it just became far too serious to be restricted to that and at that point in time when the ioa stepped in and then the sports minister also made the attempt to try and resolve the issue then there was the oversight committee or whatever it's called at that point in time you should have given a reassurance to the to the to the wrestlers the protesting wrestlers that you will get a fair and honest inquiry and these are the things that we are putting in place and if there was any issue where they felt that they were they were being given the short shrift it should have been addressed there instead of saying ha ha don't worry ho jayega ho jayega and then you find that they just didn't agree with anything Yes. And, and and you don't buy this yes. argument yes. that these medals are not theirs alone but it's for it's i mean the 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 taxpayer also has uh, rights on it yeah. but that's a that's a peevish no argument to be making at this stage isn't it jaka jaka that you know I'm, I'm, that's a more you know generic argument that we are all indians and we all proud of it in some way we have all contributed at least in supporting our wrestlers or athletes so therefore we are also stakeholders but that's so, you know So Sunita, so Sunita so uh, Sunita no, no before I come to Sunita okay, uh, uh, Shrini where yeah. then is uh, uh, you know this man Brijbhushan Sharan deriving his power from I keep coming back to this it's not like he's some senior member of this party or it's not like he's some senior cabinet minister yes he's a WFI president and yes he's been a member of parliament 
Uh, but where is he deriving so much power from that he's able to dig his heels in? It's been over a month, month and a half now since these wrestlers have been sitting on, on protest. And, uh, you know, they had to go to the Supreme Court to even get a, a FIR registered. Forget about uh, his arrest. So wh where is he deriving his power from? Exactly. You know, um, the lady on the show here talked about, uh, you know, this looking like some kind of a pajama theory where some random politician is made to look uh, so all powerful uh, that uh, the whole country has come to a standstill over uh, over a matter which is apropos their standing as athlete is extremely serious. So I don't know. I mean, we know, we know uh, something as simple as we go on Twitter and we we try to take a look of what is happening around. Look at the commentary around this. Everybody, whether it's from political uh, corners. Or from a corporate standpoint, a corporate, I, I tell you, I can't take names on the show, a corporate leader got himself involved in this discussion, uh, right? A corporate name, a big name from corporate, uh, got involved in this whole thing. And suddenly the word started going around as to why exactly is this individual saying anything. Now, what does the individual say? He must have said something on the lines of, you know, respect the, respect the athletes here. And that got boiled into a completely separate controversy where saying this man may have personal interest and that is why. So I don't know right now if from the outside, this looks like everybody who probably has the time to have a say is trying to have a say on the matter. Okay. And I think that is where everybody needs to take a step back here and allow a free and fair investigation where the girls can be heard. I think that's as simple as that. We don't really need to get into narratives yet. So, so Sunita Godara, uh, uh, again to the political, I yeah. mean, uh, you know, the, the BJP's contention is these guys are being used as some kind of political props. There is this whole Haryana versus UP angle that's also being alluded to. Uh, how would you respond to that? Because, you know, the wrestlers were also asked about this, saying, why What's can't you? No, no, no. The, the, the starting point or the, the beginning point of this contention was, uh, that why can't you uh, take part in the national camps, compete against other domestic wrestlers and not get some kind of a free pass for the Asia all, and for the Olympics? Uh, first of all, see, if, if you see other way around, uh, these are Olympic medalists, Commonwealth medalists and Asian Games medalists. And if they, they want wild entry card for the um, direct trials for the international, yeah. Which is very, uh, very correct. You know, in in marathon also we always get uh, uh, you know wild entry for the Asian uh, marathon. If I'm the winner, next Asian marathon I'll get wild entry. Same happens in the uh, tennis. And here they, if they are not going for state or nationals, they are giving chance to other athletes to uh, win the nationals. Otherwise, if they, uh, these Olympians will go to the nationals, they will win, and then the other person will be deprived of the job. Because they uh, see all are not o o Olympic medalists. Yeah. They are doing sports for getting jobs also. If they win the nationals, so why forcing the um, no, Asian but you don't you don't buy the, the argument that go for the the, go for the, the playing field uh, will not get chance. Yeah, ma'am, ma but you don't buy the argument that by uh, ha, secondly, not com secondly, not competing, not competing uh, in the nationals, not competing in the nationals or the regionals. This is not a level playing field by getting a direct entry into the Asia Olympics uh, trials. Uh, it's not a level playing field. They should give the youngsters, field. so they are giving. Uh, I think Olympic medalists are right in saying that direct uh, take our direct uh, trial for the international. Don't force us to go for state and nationals. Others will get chance to win the medal in the national. Once the youngster get medal in the nationals, at least that youngsters can uh, can get job. Secondly, Brajbhushan is totally unsportsmanlike person. He says 15 rupees ka Olympic medal. He says so nasty, you know, nasty words for these girls. So that person should be barred from sports as per Olympic Charter, as per Ethics Commission. No. IOA can do that. Sports Ministry can do that. They have all powers to bar him from sports if he's uh, behaving like this. All professional misconduct doing every day on TV and it is... Proven. We had on TV, uh, you know, a statement there are from uh, one of the world wrestling bodies just moments before the show began, and I want to ask him, Tiazanis. I believe they've said that uh, within a certain deadline, I think it's the next in the next month or so, uh, there have to be elections to the WFI president's uh, post. Uh, again, I keep coming back to this. If Mr. Bridgebushan Sharan is this all-powerful entity, then whether an election happens or not would be immaterial, would, wouldn't it not? 
No, I don't think so because at least it's, it, it's a fair election. You know, that's what the people and the wrestlers will vote. The whole problem is that people don't realize in these federations that the, who controls the votes. Some of them, they only give it to the committees who, who are voting type. You have to open it up to every wrestler that's a member, every wrestler that competes. They should be allowed to vote, not the officials. But they do it state-wise, they do it club-wise, who controls the club. So then it's not a real election. So what these world organizations are saying is that let the athletes who are actually working so hard, let them vote. It's like how we as people, we vote for our president and prime minister, right? We don't allow every smallest village can have a vote, have a say, whether it's right, wrong, whether it, it counts, doesn't matter, but at least they have a say. Here, you can still be an athlete and not have a say because you're not a, because you have to be a part of a federation or part of a sport or part of some sort of thing, which are all these clauses that they put. No, but no, no sporting association are the players allowed to, to vote. Certainly, you know, the BCCI is not chosen by the players being allowed to vote. No, no, I'm saying that the, federal, the the clubs, right? So, whatever these small, small clubs, they should be allowed to vote, right? It's not only political clubs, right? It should not be a state federation that votes for the main federation. It should be the local clubs also should be allowed to vote. Okay. That's how it should be everywhere else, you know, that you, you pass it down there so it becomes a fairer place. So, Ayaz, what happens now? Uh, we had these dramatic pictures from earlier today, Naresh Tiket, one of the farmer leaders, you know, going there, kind of reasoning out with these wrestlers, taking away their medals and saying, we're giving the government five days deadline to fix this, otherwise we'll come back uh, to Haridwar and drown these medals. Will something give well, in the next five days, I ask? Well, first things first, I think uh, it's, 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 you know, I'm happy that there's been a reprieve. But for whatever reason, Mr. Tikayat or whoever has gone, convinced them not to do whatever they were planning to do and has got a five-day five day window. Now, if they have given a five-day window, I think that there should be an approach made or, you know, there should be somebody who steps in and says, listen, this has just gone too far. We need to address it. It's not about, you know, who's threatening whom. Now we've reached an, uh, an impasse which needs to be kind of broken down and a solution found. And it needs to be found in four days, five days, whatever the deadline set. And then get everybody onto the table. If there's a no trust by the wrestlers after all this, after two months, in the kind of committee that was put together, then let's get people who they have faith in and trust in that there will be a fair inquiry. Ultimately, it's about that. I think India mentioned earlier, so did Srini and so did Sunita, that there has been such an absence of them being heard. There's, you know, they've been exactly. kind of almost, almost throttled their sound. Who are you to tell us? Is that kind of an approach which has led gradually or snowballed into this very big crisis now? So, so, Srini, what may that, uh, you know, bridge or that channels of communication, how may that open? Because uh, either it has to come from the IOA or it has to come from the ministry. Uh, we're not seeing that. I mean, we, I think in the initial days, just before they decided to sit uh, in protest or in that first week, there were multiple rounds of conversations that they had with the sports minister. How do you see those channels of communication being revived again? Because I think uh, all of you all are right. I mean, what has happened right now in the last month and a half is a total breakdown of communication between both sides and a total breakdown of trust. So that trust needs to be rebuilt. Daka, I think the core to this, the, the answer to this whole mess lies in a very simple uh, uh, solution. And that is that the women here in, in, in picture, they have made an allegation. The allegation is serious. Why don't we keep all politics aside? Doesn't matter which party this politician belongs to. I propose everything. The fact that a woman has made an allegation saying that her modesty has been outraged or whatever, it's a sexual harassment, and that's a very serious allegation. Basis on which this politician who should recuse himself, step aside and say, until the investigation gets over, I'm going to stay away from my chair. As simple as that. You start with that, respect what a woman is saying, investigate the woman tomorrow, you know, whatever conclusion you may come out to, that is that is up to the investigation committee and that is up to what where it leads, where things lead. But until that happens, basics have to be respected. This politician needs to step aside, sit back, doesn't matter who he is, which party he comes from, what power he wields. Needs to step aside. Absolutely. And an investigation needs but, to happen. But you don't buy the argument uh, that Bridgebushan Sharan seems to be telling uh, uh, everyone that A, he has done nothing wrong and B, if he has done nothing not, wrong, stepping, stepping down, even if even if it's pending inquiry, no, will make well, him look who guilty. Exactly, who exactly is Bridgebushan? He's not God's gift to mankind. Why yeah. should I take his word? 
there is a woman who's won a medal for india if she's saying that uh, you know the politician uh, whatever this man has been responsible for something i would want an investigation tomorrow if this man is free then hold the guilty responsible i'm not saying no but until then it is just basic human uh, dignity that you step aside you say that i will recuse myself and i will allow a free and fair investigation to go ahead okay and that's it i mean you know put a time frame to it and then if you are really innocent come back take your chair with your head held high why do so, you have to go through all this sunita godara you know the grain that goes again and and by the way i just want to say this for all our panelists and also viewers watching i'm just trying to play devil's advocate here because you know everyone agrees and all the panelists agree everybody who's watching agrees that something needs to be done about this it's it's shameful that these wrestlers have had to sit on the streets for the last month month and a half and then of course what happened on sunday how they were forcibly evicted from there yeah. and today what right. happened uh, the the threat of you know them uh, drowning their medals but i want to come back to to the to the question of you know even if there were to be elections announced for the wfi there is no guarantee that bridgebushan will lose from whatever we know he still seems to control or at least have the loyalties See? of many of the state associations that's true that's true and secondly why can't sports ministry or ioa as per their or our olympic charter they take the action and this person should be live banned from sports because he has uh, given so many derogatory remarks you know to the girls and about the olympic medal whatever he has say he has no right to stay in the sports field as per ethics commission i am not saying this this is not my view ethics commission says olympic charter sports law says anybody who is not respecting sports should not be in the sports and if uh, any any official doing any uh, professional misconduct should be barred from sports simple very simple you know they can resolve the problem by putting him out of the sports but in india any anyone doing any corruption they again come back Uh, it's not only this federation other federation also you see commonwealth games but but time, but but, uh, but ma'am ma the government's contention is wfi like any other federation is an independent body they can't do anything in, inside an independent body that's that's the government's but, contention see okay if if federation in an independent body how nada is working how wada is working They, nobody can challenge them because it they are they are, they are having legal entity same way ethics commission uh, has uh, like a small court you know okay. out uh, they can always uh, make a ethics commission which has powers of a court small court like tribunal court and they can take the decision like wada and nada okay nobody I, challenges I, I, never I, never, I, never you know, nobody even, has challenges even when wada there was nada. this uh, administrative issue in the bcci a few years ago the matter had to go all the way up to the supreme court the supreme court had to appoint a committee of administrators to fix the mess so government's contention is that the fir yeah, was let, 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 let me ask i ask that government's contention is we have nothing mm. nothing to do here these are independent federations the i think that, yeah. you know i, I think that uh, it's uh, they're not being consistent over here because they did move in they appointed the oversight committee it didn't work out i think what shrini is saying what sunita has also said and so has imtiaz there is an immediate solution in the limited time frame the, the wfi president moves aside and says once everything is cleared up the inquiry is done yeah i have nothing to hide i am blameless he comes back but till that time if there if the grievance is so high and is so acute and the charges are so grave then you can't take a position that you know i'm just being maligned and therefore i must teach them a lesson i think and then it creates its own kind of turmoil and it becomes you know where everybody come and fish in, in this kind of water in murky waters there's all all this talk of you know political parties have got in and so and so has got in investment interests have got in. yes that is all bound to happen that we all know every night you do a show and a lot of it is about all that but mm. in this case i think that you look at the time frame almost for two months and we haven't moved an inch in fact we just gone further and further backwards and that's what is alarming you have pushed this whole you know this whole episode and has been made so unsavory because there's just no action taken to resolve the issue so shree final word now now there is a 5 day deadline after which the protesters are saying that they will come to india gate again you know you know delhi they they don't allow you to protest outside india gate or they don't allow you to 
you know, uh, march towards parliament as, as they wanted to do on Sunday. How do you see this playing itself out? Will this again get to a confrontational situation on the streets of Delhi? Of course, I saw some top cop being quoted from Delhi, being quoted in the media saying that, no, no, we, you know, we don't allow the protest to happen here. So we will, there, there is no request that has come from there for the protest. So when the request comes, we will see where we can allow them to protest. I mean, this is nonsense. My point is, why are we digressing here? I don't care who this man is, how did he get elected, whether a protest happens, whether a protest doesn't happen. Look at the case. We have a recent case of, you know, a minister, Mr. M.J. Akbar, uh, who was, a, you know, who had to quit the ministry yeah. and move out because of a serious Me Too allegation that was leveled, leveled against him. It eventually it went to court and, you know, women came out, spoke, and until that whole thing happened, what? I mean, the man seriously stood there saying that I'm not going anywhere, right? Eventually, he had to leave. Same is the case here. There is a very serious allegation against him. The man needs to recuse himself, protest, dharnas. Again, this is where politics comes in. This is where outside influence comes in. I am saying, I am saying somebody here needs to ensure that we cut through the clutter and target and look, focus on the exactly. issue at hand. All right, Srini, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think anyone could have put it uh, as uh, eloquently as you did. Thank you very much to Imtiaz, to Ayaz, and of course uh, to Sunita Godara as well. I think uh, I agree 100% there. This thing will entirely change tomorrow if Bridgebush and Sharon simply says, OK, I'm going to step down as WFI chief. Let there be a free, fair and impartial inquiry, at the end of which, if they find me not guilty, then I will come back. Uh, if they find me guilty, of course, I'm ready to face those criminal charges. That's all that needs to be done. This matter will be settled. Why uh, the sports ministry or the IOA is not taking the lead uh, to, to impress upon Mr. Sharan to step down and why he's managing to still dig his heels in without actually having to face the pressure or face uh, the investigating agencies, that again is something that is absolutely befuddling. But we'll keep an eye out on this. The story is not uh, going anywhere.